Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Mm, Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. Mommy, I'm sorry, Ma. No longer going after Stranger Danger, going after his daughter. BRB, see you guys later. Whew. I am not surprised. That has to be her. But also, hi. Freddy. You're supposed to be on lockdown. Mmm, Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. Mommy? I'm sorry, Ma- No longer going after Stranger Danger, going after his daughter. BRB, see you guys later. Whew. I am not surprised. That has to be her. But also, hi. Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Mmm, Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. Mommy? I'm sorry, Ma. No longer going after Stranger Danger, going after his daughter. BRB, see you guys later. Whew. I am not surprised. That has to be her. But also, hi. Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Mmm, Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. Mommy? I'm sorry, Ma. No longer going after Stranger Danger, going after his daughter. BRB, see you guys later. Whew. I am not surprised. That has to be her. But also, hi. Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Mmm, Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. Mommy? I'm sorry, Ma. No longer going after Stranger Danger, going after his daughter. BRB, see you guys later. Whew. I am not surprised. That has to be her. But also, hi. Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Mmm, Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. We're good. I think we're good. I don't know what I'm doing 
anymore. It's perfectly fine, though. Um, I don't know really what I'm doing. I'm not very good at it. I say that because I meant to fix my mix it up by uh, going live notification. I guess who didn't? So guess who's doing that now? Anyways, hi friends. It's Thursday. We're actually doing a dating sim. What is this? What is this nonsense? Um, I don't even know. <sighs> so we're just gonna bear with me for like 30 seconds. I am like the least professional person. I don't know. One of these days I'll get better at this and I will... I feel like I blinked and then realized how late in the day it was and then was like, oh crap, I'm streaming. So that's how we got here. And yeah. So we're gonna play a little bit of House of the Cat. We may not go as late the night. I am just wiped. It's been a week, y'all. Hmm. But you know, it's all good. It's all good. Hi, Catsy. I know, I know. I did too. I have missed. I've, been, I've missed this game and like I've wanted to play but I th I don't know what it is Thursdays have been rough I don't even know there we go I did I did a thing we're fine okay I'm here I, you guys have my full attention I don't know anymore <laughs> But I feel I am, I don't even know y'all. It's just, it's just the time, it's just the thing. And we're just gonna be fine though. We're gonna do just fine. I sound like I'm dying, I'm really not though. It's just been a long week and like, so we're closed tomorrow, my work is, I'm off tomorrow. Did I remember to set my out of offices when I closed my computer, my laptop, my work laptop? Mm, yeah, I forgot. Thursday's the weird place of too much work for the weekend. Yeah, that was it today too. And like, I had meetings get canceled today, which, delicious. Um, love it when they get canceled, it's wonderful. <laughs> Parker, what's wrong with you? Hi, for those of you who are not used to me, I'm Parker and I'm a little bit deranged and unhinged. Actually, it's mostly unhinged at this point. Um, but it, so I had meetings get canceled on me today, which was delightful, delicious, everything I hoped and dreamed of, which means I got damn near everything done on my to-do list. There's like one thing left that I might, maybe later tonight, I might just spend an hour on and then get my out of office all, offices up and then shut her down for the weekend. Oh my God. I love it. It's great. It's not even like I had an hour long meeting. Like they're good meetings that I like having with people. So one of them got moved to next week. The other one's just straight out canceled. Hey, Alex. How's it going, sweetie? How are we doing? Also, today's felt like a Friday. It's been really weird. I think that was the other reason why I was like, oh crap, I'm streaming. <laughs> it's also been a minute since I've had the uh, wherewithal to do one on a Thursday. So we'll see how far we go with this today. We are, also my hair is getting longer and I'm not used to it. It's like, this is, this is, this is length, y'all. This is weird. It's been a while since I've had it like this. I don't even know, I don't know. Hi, Jay! How are you lovelies doing? How are we feeling? How is your Thursday treating you? We're gonna play a dating sim. <laughs> ah, hi, John! <laughs> How are you? How's it going? Welcome to my shenanigans. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. It's gonna be good. And thank you for the happy dating. So I'm excited to get back to this game. So it's been like, I feel like it's been a month since we've touched this one. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear that. Um. For, okay, and I have to be honest, so every time I see, like, your username, uh, Real Don Downey, Do, Real Don, J John Downey, oh my god, what is wrong with me? Real John Downey. My brain immediately goes to Real Slim Shady. And that has been stuck in my head. <laughs> oh. Two new work buddies, game, ooh. 
Oh, that's exciting. I am deeply considering, so I have enough of my coworkers who have said that if I ran a D&D game for them, like they would su they'd be super into it. So we start summer hours, I wanna say either in June or July, which means we're just working half days on Fridays, which is delightful, so excited. So I might see about stealing one of those. Um, and so then it's not like too, it's not taking up somebody's evening or weekend or anything. But it'd be on like a Friday afternoon, invite everybody to grab drinks. We could possibly do it in the office even, if people are free. Oh, actually, <gasps> I could commandeer the boardroom. That would be fun. Anyways, so we'll see. That might be a summer shindig I do with work. Um, but even just like a one shot and then, oh my God, but then I could print out the physical character sheets because I'm just gonna use office resources. <laughs> oh, ooh. I gotta find out if my office has grid paper. I have like, I have dry erase tiles. I'd be fine. I don't, I, yeah, no, offices are for stealing s supplies from. That's all I do is I just, I, and I have openly said this to my coworkers. I'm like, no, no, no. If I'm in the office, I'm stealing supplies. Like I'm going in next week and I am gonna be running away with as many sticky notes as possible because I am running low. Uh, and then I run away with a few more pads of paper. I'm really picky on my pens, so they don't really have the good ones, so I don't go for that. Uh, but I go for the office supplies and to abuse their printer. That'd be so good. Cause then if I just, oh, I just realized how the benefits of this. You used to have a decent notebook courtesy of work. Gotta love that. Oh my god, if my office had a 3D printer, we'd be in so much trouble. It'd be great. I wonder what we do have. We don't have a 3D printer, that's for sure. But what if we have? I wonder what we do have. Hmm. But yeah, so I think that's what we're gonna try. I'm gonna try to do this summer. See who's interested. Because then I can actually do the full physical layout because I find it so much easier to teach people when you can do it in person and have the maps, the pieces, and all of those things. And I have all, I have all of my stuff still. Also, I have tons of dice. And they could all use, I have, I have enough dice and dice trays to probably supply a small group for a one shot. Actually, I have a lot of supplies. This is fun. Um, oh, and then I can use my DM screen again. I haven't used that in obviously a pandem pandemic. I was gonna call it Panini, Panini-demic. Those were words. Those were great words. <laughs> oh my goodness. But I'm excited you have that now, Jay. It's really, it makes a difference when you have like nerdy people in your office or in your place of employment. Um, Penguin, oh. But yeah, no, it just, it makes a huge, huge difference. Um, because I, I, even one of my conversations today with my coworker, we do, we dove into Moon Knight because we I found out he's also been watching Moon Knight. So we just started chatting about yesterday's episode, and I think that was half our call. So the calls I did have today were apparently, you know, really goofy, nerdy stuff, which was delightful. Um, it honestly just helps a ton. Moon Knight is amazing. Okay, Oscar Isaac for one is just. Love him. Love that boy. It's really cool. It's very different. Um, and by that I mean kind of how like every MCU series has been a very different tone. This continues with that. Because um, this, I mean, with the main character, oh yeah, it's been great. And like the main character suffers from dissociative identity disorder. And that is up front and center with everything that's going on. And it really digs into everything with Egyptian mythology. Um, and as far as I know, and I'd have to fact check this to make sure, but the director is actually a relatively new director, but he basically approached Marvel and was like, hi, here's a 200 page report on why I should be the person directing Moon Knight because of my background in history and the research I've already done. And here are all the, here's what I would do and here are the decisions I've made, like I would make. Um, so they're relatively new, but they have, they have the, they really do have the expertise to be doing this. Um, 
fight scenes especially i think in yesterday's episode so it's on episode three right now um yeah so you've got three three episodes that you can already get into um plus if i like i have to double check how many episodes there are we were mapping it we're like oh so the season finale is the wednesday before multiverse of madness comes out oh good Okay, yeah, six total episodes, which means the last one is just before Multiverse of Madness, which I'm also excited for. This is literally, like, the conversation I had. Not, for, yeah, no, not at all. I'm so excited for Multiverse 2. I have tickets for my brother and I to go on the Friday night. Um, and then we got into the getting very angry about how Thor Love and Thunder still doesn't have a trailer, but now we're expecting it to show up kind of like how Multiverse of Madness trailers showed up at the end of Spider-Man. Figuring that's what's going to happen with this. So, it's all going to tie together. It's all going to be a thing. It's going to be fun. I'm... <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I... Honestly, Moon Knight coming back has been like... It brings life back into me. <laughs> I get really excited whenever there's a MCU series happening. I don't know why. It's just another like weekly taste of something fun is i guess what it is um i mean i don't know between that drag race and survivor those are like the only shows that i watch consistently which is a wide like very different very different across the board anyways you know i always i only it's only been 11 minutes into the stream we haven't talked about food yet but we haven't started the game but that's typical um, so last I remember with Hustle Cat, basically we play this, uh, person who needs a job, Avery, so they get a job at a cat cafe, which honestly sounds amazing, except for we later then find out that the cat cafe is cursed and turns everybody who works there into a cat when they leave the premises. So I'm slowly turning into a cat. I work with a bunch of cat co-workers, one of which is a famous internet cat. And there has been zero dating elements of this so far. It's just shenanigans. So. We'll get into it and see what happens. I don't even know. I don't even know. I've been doing this for days now. Oh god, what have I been doing? I wake up, go to work, come home, lose myself in the grimoire. Oh! Oh, and then we th thefted the book! So we found this, like, big old tomb in, I think, the basement, and then ran away with it. I don't think we can read it, though. Forgot about that part. Uh, lose myself in the grimoire and barely make it to bed right before the sun comes back up. How are we getting any sleep whatsoever? Wow, the rinse repeat. There we go. It's a me, Avery. Listen to me. I'm calling the thing a grimoire now. Can't stop reading this dang book or mumbling to myself, I guess. But seriously, there's all this stuff about witches, covens, powers. I've never seen anything like it. Sometimes I don't even understand the words on the page, but they make me feel strange when I read. Powerful, I guess. Why do I have a feeling this is a terrible life choice? This is just you. Like, if I keep going, they'll suddenly click into place and I'll learn something unknowable. It's getting to me, though. Well, I'm going to go with it's the sleep deprivation in this case. I feel haggard. My coworkers have pointed out I'm getting some wicked bags under my eyes. I haven't told them about the book. I bet they think I've just been up playing video games or something. Oh, and I have a cat named Mochi. Also, the cats are real cute in this game. Mer. What's with you? You're so friendly lately. Since when do you sit in laps? They do say that some witches get familiars. No. That's ridiculous. I'm getting ahead of myself here. I'm not becoming a witch. I have been trying some of the stuff in the book out, though. Just a bit. You can't blame me for that. Hear me up, but I think I managed to move a cola with magic. Maybe it was weirdly balanced weirdly or something and fell on its own, but I felt like it worked. I've definitely been reading this gibberish for too long. 
I should stretch my legs or something. Right, Mochi? See, even Mochi agrees and he hates exercise. Hey, it's actually pretty early. Reading a dusty tome all night can actually reset my sleep schedule to a normal one. I'm gonna go celebrate some coffee, breakfast, and a nice walk. When I become a coffee drinker anyway, it's not all, it's not bad at all now that I've gotten used to it. The sci fi drink is actually a real shade of tan now. Almost my palate is refining every day. We are slowly getting our life together, apparently. There's that corner store down the road. Been there for a lot of stuff, and their breakfast pastries look really good. Could also just stop by the cafe. It's closed to customers today, but I'm sure someone's hanging around who can make me a nice fancy coffee or something. Oh, we're gonna go to work. Screw this. You know what? Why waste money when I can just get some coffee for free at the cafe? Still not great on that water to coffee grants ratio, but I learn better. But better I learn with myself than with customers, right? Oh god. Yeah, learning to deal with coffee is its own fine art, okay? Ugh. You really have to learn how to do this right. Yeah, you probably should. Huh, doesn't look like anybody's here yet. There's some lights on the cafe and the floor above, but I don't see anybody moving around inside. Maybe I was wrong about people coming here on their days off. Is it really just gonna be me hanging out at work like I have nothing better to do? All right, I'll just go make some coffee then figure out what else to do for the day. Luckily, I got my key. I can unlock the door and let myself in. Even though there's no people- Oh, look at the kids! Look at them! Oh, this is kind of fun. I don't think we normally get this angle. Also, this little derp right here. I'm aware that, like, look at him. Look at him! I love him! Now is making his- oh my goodness, they're so cute! Marina and Ina catching some sun. Aw, John has his paw around one of the cats like they're spooning. I get- I peek in closer to take a look at maybe a photo and I see that little seal nose sticking out. I pause. Is that? Haze? Again! These guys could turn into cats. His ear flicks and one eye shoots open. He looks like he takes a moment to register what's happening. Once he does, his eyes dilate to the size of saucers! Hey, Avery! We caught one of them! His tail pops up as he backs away from Junta at surprising speed. He bumps into the wall and hops a solid six inches into the air in shock. Hey, he's calm down. It's just me. Baby, look at that scaredy face. I think Hayes is the cinnamon roll that we like love and adore. It just, I, Jinto is crying a lot and then I just sort of, oh, please don't make fun of me. Baby, Jinto's one of our newest cats. He's a sweetheart stray we found wandering the streets, but he scares easily so he gets clingy sometimes. Why would I do that? It's really sweet of you. Slowly, I reach down to scratch Junta behind the ears. He's confused by all the commotion, but doesn't seem too stressed. But I... You're so thoughtful about the cats. It's great. Oh, oh, I guess so, thanks. Yeah, he's the cinnamon roll who's also very shy. I'm jealous, actually. I wish I could sleep in a pile of cats. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I want to sleep in a pile of cats. My cat hates it if I curl up next to her. I force her. I'm like, hello, BB. And I just, like, curl up next to my cat. And she is, like... I am leaving you now. You have ruined my my safe haven. How about some coffee? I could go for a cup, and I bet you could too. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna change back. Don't don't look. Okay. You got it. What is this like? Fruits baskets, and they turn out naked. Anyway, it's probably as rude and creepy as watching someone get changed. So I'm not about to peek. Oh yeah. He's a sweetie. I adore him. Do you like a cappuccino? I'll go make us some coffee. That sounds great. Thank you. Schooler! We don't have to screw around and mess up our coffee. Which is probably what would have happened. It's linking to my favorite spot, the big circle couch. I do- I love the layout of this place, too. Oh my god. There's this cat that's just, like, hanging on right here. What on earth? I love them. I could sit here all day. Maybe I will. Hey, it's Landry. Oh, you're here early. Yeah, I thought I'd come see what everybody's doing. I've been cooped up in my house too long. It's good to see you. 
I'll be around doing some handiwork, but let me know if you need anything. Oh, don't worry about me. It sounds like you'll be busy, enough. Everybody's showing up. This is, it's closed. This is, in theory, your day off. Finley. Love her, too. She's the one that, so when she transforms, she becomes a cat that apparently is, like, an internet sensation, apparently. So, Avery, what breed are you? Do you know yet? As goes. Cat, I mean. Sorry, is, is that still a sensitive subject? No, nothing's happened to me since the day I grew the whisker. Figured it'd take more time. That's strange. I turns in about a week. Wait! I wonder if it's the fact that I have the book. Yeah, me too. Reese, what the heck? Where did you come from? It's gonna be the first time Avery's slow on the uptake. I swear to God. Of course not. Totally was. Oh, they're right, though. Playing with that book made me totally forget about the curse and probably is what's interfering. Well, I'm gonna go do some laundry. Let me know whatever you find. Whenever you find out. I'm betting you'll be a silver tabby or something pretty like that. Ooh. Did you just call me pretty? It'd be so good. Look at the cat on the ground. Finley picks up a large bag and trundles towards the stairs. Is there a laundry machine up there? Yeah, in Graves' apartment. He lets us do laundry there for free. Wait. Graves lives here? Graves is our employer, who is kind of stranger danger. And I have, I don't know. Yeah, duh, the third floor is his apartment. Shouldn't we see him like all the time? He's basically a ghost as is. He's usually out until really late at night, leaves pretty early in the morning. I don't think he sleeps. Also, he's got um, heterochromia, so he's got two different colored eyes, which is how I'm fairly sure the black cat is him. Bet he sleeps in a fancy coffin. <laughs> I just mean he's really busy. He takes care of all the administrative stuff for the cafe, after all. Well, I better get to work. This ramp isn't gonna build itself, after all. Back a few minutes later with hands full of lumber and a roll of carpet. So that's why all that stuff is in the basement. Sorry, it might get a bit noisy in here. No problem. I suppose if you must. Oh my god, race. Peek up at the balcony and Finley's fiddling with a laptop or something. Everyone seems to be keeping themselves busy. Maybe I should help one of them. With their hand, I'm not getting paid for it, so... I oh, we're gonna see what Finley's doing. Pretty good with computers, sometimes. Probably could help Finley. After a brief pit stop to toss my coffee cup in the trash, I head upstairs. Why were we not using a reusable... I didn't re... When did we get our coffee? What's up? How are the jelly... So Jelly Donut is the name of the cat. Oh, just the person I was looking for. Huh? Let me see your hands. Eh? Come on, I know you know more words than that. Hold out your hands. Don't do any... That stupid slap game on me. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Dang, next time. You have really nice hands. Thank you? Alright, you'll do just fine. Just like I thought. Come here. Tell me what's going on. I got a little ahead of myself. I'm making a human version jelly donut video and you're gonna help me. What? Does that mean you're gonna balance donuts on your human head? Are you gonna balance donuts on my head? Do I get to eat said donuts afterwards? Nah, that's dumb. I'm gonna do a tutorial for jelly donut themed art nail art. Wait, does that mean I'm getting nail art? And you're my model. Yeah, okay, cool. I see how this is going. Go and get my nails did. That sounds pretty cute, actually. I was gonna say, if I insulted this, I would be angry at myself. You ever paint your nails before? Nope. I better come out all weird looking and gross if I tried. Oh, you aren't that much of a klutz. Mm, you wanna bet? Pretty sure I could prove you wrong, Finley. Pretty sure. We're gonna do so much more than that. It's gonna be so fun. All right, let's go. Just sit down and place your hands on this table. Man, I'd be so okay with that. If somebody else wants to come take care of my hands, like, poof, please do my nails. Just to record the video footage right now. I'll do the music and voiceover stuff later, so don't worry about that. The camera's just gonna be on our hands, so just stay still. Want to get your cute face on the camera sometime, too, but first, she is just so cute. God damn it. Ah! 
I don't know. This is one of those cases of like, I don't know if you're just like delightfully friendly or if you're really flirting with me. Mm, shop serpents full of nail polish bottles and all sorts of weird looking tools. I used to have a very, very intensive nail set. Um, and then I stopped because I don't know. I started doing press on nails was really what happened. So I haven't done press on nails in a little while. I'm letting my nails heal a little bit. Thanks, Alex. Go with a hat, right? But also, yes, thirsty. It's a Thursday. I'm allowed. I'm allowed to be thirsty whenever I want. Let's be real here. <laughs> also, stuff like glue. Nail art is a lot more serious than I thought, clearly. Yeah, oh my god. Look at her. She's adorable. These will be pretty simple. You work in a place where you don't want rhinestones or stuff coming off, you know? Okay. She sets to work and sets a tiny brush to my index fingernail. The polish feels kind of cold. Wow, her painting is so precise. Honestly, like that's the best part is having somebody else do it because then they can be precise with it and not, I make a mess. I can do great onto my left hand, my right, onto my right is a little bit more difficult. She moves quickly across each nail, painting the basic shape of a donut or a cat on each. You're really good at this. What, sitting here? I'm doing literally nothing. I already know that. A few more quick tiny strokes of a pen or something thinly leans back triumphantly. There we go. Oh, my thing's being weird. It should have said it for you. But lurk away, lurk away. Enjoy. That's all good. Which kind of is. There's all these little donuts with sprinkles and a big calico cat on my thumbnail. I'm gonna ruin these in like 30 seconds flat, I'm sure, but it's kind of nice to have now. Wow, thanks. Anything for my biggest fan. We embarrass ourselves once and now we will never live it down. Now, stay put for a bit and let those dry. Can I at least go sit on the couch downstairs? Mm, honestly, that sounds like an accident waiting to happen. Why, if it isn't the big boss himself. Look, it's Graves! Also, I forgot how much I love his wardrobe. He looks over to us and his gaze stops on me for a second. He has a weird glimmer in his eye, but I really can't place you. I'm on to you, buddy. I know you have something to do with that book. It can't have just been there because you're a collector or something. It has our names in it. I don't really understand this page since the bookmark doesn't work on them. But it must be something fishy. Landry. Excellent work on the cat's equipment, as always. I I'm not done yet. Have you ever given me reason to doubt? I know you'll do a stellar job. We can talk about future designs soon. Sure thing, boss. Reese, I see you've been keeping your protege in line. Keep up the good work. Of course. Nothing gets past me. I have been doing nothing. I am a very good person. I am also not his protege. Are you talking about me? Haze, my sweet Haze. Look at this sweet boy. Can I trouble you for some of your exquisite coffee? I'd be happy to. <coughs> ah, why am I dying? You are a treasure as always. I hope you've been keeping well. Oh, oh, well. Finley! Finley peeks her head over the... I want the other one. Where's Mason? Mason's the pa the pastry chef. Present! Your videos are keeping me busy. We hit a whole new attendance record the other day. And six adoptions in two days. The home inspections never end. I'm sorry you have such a precious, adorable girl here making you business work. You are my internet lifeline. I have no head for such things. <clears throat> Betty's been lost ever since telegrams when I was telling. Can you imagine? Hi. That's me. I'm Avery in this case. Oh, God. Um, stranger danger. I don't think I like it. I do not. He puts his hand on my shoulder and his levels his gaze down to mine. The blue eye is so chilling. I'm sorry, you're what? I'm on to you, Avery. You're the fastest learner we've had here yet. Okay, cool. 
that what you're referring to? I forget you're still new. Okay. Well, I've been doing a lot of studying. So you have. So you have. He knows I have the book. He's letting me read it, though. Hello, and welcome to Parker Dives Into Conspiracy Theories. I don't know why I'm like this, but I am like... This is one of the... Oh, yeah, he 100% let me... Because didn't, like... I don't know if I remember this entirely, but I feel like he followed me home one time. And I thought I was convinced he was going to take the book back. Or the bookmark, or whatever. But didn't. Yeah, it was way too easy. So he wants me to... I don't even know. He definitely wasn't talking about the cafe. Thanks, H-Dog! Don't die at work! I'm assuming you're still at work, sweetie. But also... I don't know. I haven't... <laughs> oh, yeah. See you tomorrow, H-Dog! I got supplies. I have some of the supplies figured out. So, I know what you're thinking. Why Why is H-Dog coming over to my place? So, H-Dog will be at my humble abode for part of tomorrow because she gets into a habit of, ooh, yummy, yummy smoothie, but boo, brain freeze. Please don't further hurt yourself. That's all. Um, we're going into hair dyeing escapades because as I'm sure you've seen, this is not naturally occurring. Um, moments of insanity. Oh, good. Oh, okay. So, we're going into hair dyeing escapades tomorrow. Um, she is trusting me with her locks, which I honestly think it's... Act I was going to say it's brave of her, but it's also... I have been doing my own hair for forever, and I haven't killed it, obviously. Um, so... As I typically get, say, I have plans. Mmm, strawberry banana smoothie. That sounds delightful. I like it. I like it. But yeah, Jay, I uh, I will I, I will send you guys pictures of hair. Um. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna do fun kind of fade. Do a little balayage. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't actually know. Um. But we're gonna basically be lightening parts of it and going from there and then seeing if we can't do a little peekaboo of pink. Um, because I have a fairly faint baby pink. It might with her, it might wash out quite immediately because it's not strong and it's not necessarily meant to last, but I think it'll work out well for what she's looking for. The one thing I still need to pick up is toner just to kind of um pull out some of what I'm assuming is gonna be some reddish tones from her hair in order to make the fade look really nice. But they gets the plan. Uh, but yeah, so I'm excited. But all you will send photos. Meanwhile, there's just me with my purple and blue. I have to get more information. Where's Mason? That's what I was asking. I was wondering where Mason went, because I like Mason. Mason, Finley, and Hayes are like my top babies in this one. She hasn't been showing up as much on days off lately. Maybe she's found a comfy get as an old cat. I don't know. Late old. Those were weird. Ah, we hydrated. Um, we like like Mason. Uh, <laughs> oh no, Mason was great. Scary, but great. Anyways, Mason, Finley, and Hayes are like. My babes. I'm good with this. Maybe she's found a comfy gig at an old cat, la cat ladies or something. Yeah, I said that right. Haven't... Ah, there we are! Haven't been to your place, place in ages, though. When did you get here? You startled me. Ah, oh, Mason, I'm so glad you're here. Wouldn't be the same if you didn't join us. As much as I adore your cooking, today I'd rather give you respite. Think I'm gonna cook on my day off? <laughs> of course not. That's why I'll take the pleasure of providing you, my dear employees, with dinner today. Are you cooking or are you ordering in? But first, an announcement. What? Sir? 
I came in by accident today. When he returns, he's holding a garment bag. No. You didn't even let me make the announcement. I know what this is. Absolutely not. Uniforms? I'm guessing uniforms. <sighs> For my more cooperative employees, then. With a probably practice flourish, Graves unzips the garment bag and lets it fall to the floor. Please don't be... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Is that somehow both plaid and checked flannel? I didn't know you can make a suit out of that type of material! I'm sorry, what? Risa looks personally offended. Mason just straight up leaves. No appreciation for your new uniforms. And to think I had it made in your size, Avery. Try, try it on, Avery! Can't blame her, wouldn't want to get close to that suit either. I'd rather wear a potato sack. And I went through such trouble to have it made. Check with us next time before you waste your time. Tis easier to beg forgiveness and ask permission, as they say. See? You knew we wouldn't agree to it. Well, I'll leave this here in case you all come to reason. Graves, what is wrong with you? I'll be out for one last errand. But when I return, you'll all be treated to a wonderful meal. Until then, farewell. I'm gonna follow him just to see what happens when he leaves. I get to the kitchen to see him slip through the back door. I'm sure I'm gonna see that black cat. I just know it. Peek out of the door as he leaves. He gets further and further away from the cafe, but I don't see him change. Not even when he gets past the point where I know he's off cafe grounds. I guess the others already assumed he wasn't affected by the curse, but why? Does this prove he's the culprit? How else would he escape whatever it was that got everyone else? Although, to be fair, I can't use that as proof. After all, I also escaped the curse, and I sure as heck didn't cause it. This seems like a good as time as any to see if I can find out about what's going on. Gonna do some investigating. Looks like everybody's back to whatever they were doing before. I really want to see what this stupid suit looks like. Finley did say we have free access to Graves' apartment, after all. I could look and see what he's got hiding up there. Also kind of curious what it looks like. Yes. Maybe he keeps all his magic stuff in that creepy basement. I wonder which is better to search. Oh, we're going to the apartment, y'all. We've been to the basement before. That was already creepy. You know, I've always got the chance to check out that creepy, to go into that creepy basement. I should take the opportunity while Graves is gone to root around his apartment a bit. Tiptoe past Finley on the second floor? Sure, she's going to say something to me about where I'm going, but she doesn't look up from the computer. It's probably video editing. Wow. This is cool. This is cute as far as places go. It's immaculate. Makes me feel embarrassed about the state of my apartment right now, but whatever. It's well designed, too. I think it's cute. I can make fun of the guy all I want, but I have to admit he has a sense of style, interior decorating wise at least. I know, that cat tower, like the cat castle. Yeah, cat castle looks downright regal. Like, that is in and of itself a goal. Like, cause it looks like there's a bed at the base here, but you can enter over here too. So that must be elevated. Um entry elevation and then there's still some ways up here but there's also the outer like i would probably get it for my child for nyx and she would just be like what is this i wonder if landry built that one i don't see any cats in the apartment but it would make sense that he'd have a setup for them right it's probably one here is in here somewhere ah there we go i see a single suspicious blue eye peeking at me from inside the castle the black cat. Oh, it's the black cat! Look at you! It's not. Okay, oh, hey there. That's actually not the cat we've seen, because the other cat that we've seen has the, the heterochromia like Graves does. Cloudy Eye belongs to a dark, massive black fur that refuses to move, even though its gaze follows me everywhere I turn. Hey, buddy, it's okay. Sleek tail thumps an annoyance against the carpeted castle wall. I. Uh, ah! I'm sorry, I thought you left. I see you met the great Countess Dracula. Shit. 
Be cool. Cool. You gotta be cool. You named your cat Countess Dracula. It was Dracula, but she's a venerable lady now, so she deserves our respect. She's nearly 19, so I hope you've been taking care of her. Graves leans forward and pats his hands on his legs. Slowly, Dracula pulls herself from the cat castle and hops down. She looks good for her age. She's a tad shy with new people, but she's great. We've been through a lot together. Graves sits on the couch and holds his hand in front of him with almost an unexpected gentleness. Come here, you sweet old lady. He does far better than me, who's just like, Come here, you little void gremlin. And then I pick her up and dance. <clears throat> How Nyx puts up with my BS is beyond me. She is, like, she's a very, very patient child. She really is. Oof. Hello, darling. I can hear the purring from here. I'm taken aback at how cute they are together. I don't think that you'll find what you're looking for in here, but you're welcome to stay for a while regardless. I'm sorry, you what? I feel terrible that we haven't been able to chat since you started. Don't know what you're talking about, sir. You're a terrible liar, you know that? Okay, so maybe I was kind of curious. So I should have gone to the basement? <laughs> well, I'm here now if you have any questions. Are you serious? I know there's something weird about this cafe. Well, I'd be insulted if you said anything less about a cafe that I designed. I prefer weird. What do you know about this curse business? His eyes flickered for a moment, cold and fiery, before he turns them back towards Dracula. We are all cursed in our own ways, Avery. There are some instances where you must be your own savior. I will if you won't help me. You're a strong one. I like that. God damn it! Well, I best be headed back out. I thought I could ask questions. Need to make sure. I need to make a few rounds before I pick up dinner. What's for dinner? I have questions. You'll join us, won't you? Like I'm gonna pass up a free dinner. <laughs> of course. Stands up from the couch, lightly ruffles my hair as he passes me. You're a sharp one, Avery. I'm glad you joined my employ. Well, you're keeping me busy for sure. And I thought I had- okay, so like, I've got unique, I'm going to say, uh, relationships with my- my bosses. Um, where I think like, I can be pretty- pretty on the nose about things with them. This goes to a whole other level. Better get back downstairs. The others might be wondering if I fell asleep or something. So I should have gone to the basement. Heck. Drift from person to person, helping everybody out with what they're doing for a while, but eventually the urge takes over. Just want to play with cats. Look at him. Look at him. He's just, he's just hanging. He's just hanging there. He's up there. And this one's so cute because he's just... Anyway, sorry. This is me gushing about cats. Shunsuke gets all excited when I burst out the bell toy. Guess I'd be excited too. Al gets messed up on the catnip toy. Ugh! Can you imagine just getting to play with cats all day? I'd be so happy. Oh my god. And then they start taking naps. And that seems like a good idea. What happened? Oh, I fell asleep. Will someone please exhume Avery from that pile in the corner? Wake up at the start. When did I fall asleep? Good morning, sleepyhead. Why is there a garland on my head? In fact, I seem to be covered in cat toys. What the heck? Well, we tried to wake you with catnip. What is all this? Finley. What? I just put a mouse there to see if you'd wake up. And then you didn't, so I put another. And another. And another. I got some really cute pictures out of it. Oh my god, don't put those on the blog. Why would I ever do that? Ma'am. <laughs> Ow! Hey! Okay, okay, they won't go on the blog. Good. Today. Finley! Finley, be nice. All of you, stop distracting from the matter at hand. Dinner has arrived. Thought you were actually going to make dinner, not just order takeout. No, I had a feeling he was ordering takeout. 
We usually order to take out on days off. It's nice to get a change of pace and try some of the other restaurants around here. And there are fewer dishes to wash. The cuisine du jour is brought to us by the Thai restaurant downtown you also enjoy. Avery, I believe you'll be experiencing their splendor for the first time tonight. What did you get? You didn't ask me what I wanted from the menu. I did, actually. You mumbled something about pad thai that rolled over on top of a bunch of cat toys. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what I would have wanted anyways, so. Oh, mmm, Thai food. I love Thai food. Thai food good. Take our boxes, pile up in the center table, all the places have already been set. Bon appetit, my dear employees. After some sorting, it's all settled with our respective food, and we sit down for dinner. This is really cute. Like, this is a delightful little community that they've got going here with their work. Um, it's kind of precious. It's kind of adorable. I'm kind of here for it. When he's not flitting between us and offering us drinks, he's standing behind his chair and telling a, gra telling a story in the grand, in as grand of a graves gesture as you'd imagine. When I was in college, none of you would have recognized me. What, did you take a break from your goth phase? Did you go grunge for a while? I would never break style. No, in fact, if anything, I suppose you could say I was more goth then. I had long black hair and wore, wore such elaborate makeup. If anything, that sounds more on brand than you are right now. Why stop? Can't imagine how much time that took for my day. Yes, actually, I can. Uh, you would be surprised. It is a lot. Makeup is a lot. <laughs> I have a business to run now, after all. Dad showed me a photo once. The one with you and your bandmate? Who? The guy with the mohawk? Don't know how he got such a huge hawk. Ah, yes. It was pure witchcraft, that hair. Graves, why are you taunting me? With which jokes? Wait, wait. You were in a band? Are you really surprised by that, Landry? Come on. Everyone was in a band with the Everyone was in a band with the ghost. What? I don't understand that. I don't recall that stereotype, but yes. I was in a band. I bet it was called like Masters of Night or something like that. No, Avery, it was not. I'd thank you to give me more credit than that. Nah, more like nightly nightshades. Dark carousel. No, no. Sorrows of blood. You're all so cruel. You have to tell us the real name or they'll keep going. I refuse to enable this slander. Is it was ex spider coven with an X, yeah. Reese! How do you spell spider with an X? Goth willpower. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh. They had a song that was called something like Rose Baptism. I only remember that the parts that weren't in French, but in French? No, 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 no. <clears throat> it went something like, no, no. This is traitorous. Graves, you opened this. You are the one who opened this Pandora's box and let us all in to really reorganize. So this is on you. My own pupil betrays me. <clears throat> Trapped within my own mind. Something, something in French. My will dissolves to blood. The soul's red rind. Life is but a march towards death. Right, Graves? I think we've managed to uh, make the boss be mad at us. How do you know all this, Reese? Graves and my dad went to college together. He went to their shows. He met your mother at one of them, if I recall. You have to thank me for your very existence, my boy. Ugh, don't put it like that. This is nice. This is really cute. They are like a big family and I'm kind of here for it. Graves is a lot more charming, which is good. Considering some of the shenanigans. It's kind of like everybody's weird but benevolent uncle. Chat over dinner, then coffee. And before I know it, the sun is totally gone. How long have we been doing this? Shoot, I better get home and feed Mochi before he throws a fit. He gets real passive aggressive when he's fed late. It is quite late. I guess I'll take care of all the dishes and sundry, so please relax and prepare yourselves to face the day tomorrow. Yeah, I guess we all better get going, huh? Hmm. Later. Bye, Mason. I wonder what's up with Mason. Hmm. Very curious. Boy, it got late. The streetlights are on, but I sort of hate walking the back roads today because they're all they're kind of sparsely lit. I don't know why, but I feel a little like that's a bad idea tonight. 
decided to take the other way home. It's a bit longer, but the store lights are brighter once I get through this alley. Besides, it's pretty nice out. Did somebody just dump their crappy old bike here? Rude. How long has that been there? Looks like it's been around for years, but I don't remember seeing a messed up bike like that yesterday. I should be more observant. Graves should complain about it to someone. It doesn't make the walk to the cafe look that good to customers. Can't shake this creeping feeling clawing up my spine. Oh, good. We're being followed. This is going to go great, isn't it? Something feels different. Off. Eerie. I haven't been getting much sleep, so I could be imagining it. I don't know. All I know is I want to be home. Stranger danger. It's one other person in the street. Doesn't look like he's going anywhere. What is he doing? This is a weird place to loiter. Is he lost? I should offer him directions. As I get closer. Help! He whips his head up and stares me down with intense gravity, threatening to root me in place and allow the chill of my spine to sink in his claws. I, I don't even think that was how I was supposed to say that, but that is okay. I sever eye contact and hurry on my way. Never mind! I am not talking to you at all! Stranger danger! You don't talk to strangers, okay? You don't take candy from strangers. You don't talk to strangers. You just leave them alone. Maybe I should have crossed the street to avoid this, but I seem to have his attention now. Out of the corner of my eye when I pass, I see his head move to follow me. Heck! I walk faster. Maybe I'm exaggerating things, maybe keeping things up, but I'm not about to stay and find out what his deal is. Yankees. Still like he's watching me still, but I'm not gonna go back to find out. Dude. We are our power walking home, yeah, folks. Yankees. Have you can't make it? No! It's creepy. Better go take care of Mochi before he jumps to the windows and attack me for food. Head upstairs and the rest of the night is pretty quiet. No more weirdos in the street, just the four-legged weirdo that lives in my apartment. But it turns out, if I'd stuck around. I would have seen the man continue on his way. I would have seen him take the back alley all the way to the cafe. I would have seen him stare in the window of the cafe for a long time, then up to the third floor. I would have seen him leave a rusty handprint on the shutters. This is not a dating sim. This is just creepy times. This game just wants to freak me out. Ugh. I would have seen him leave a rusty handprint on the shutters of the building across the street. Rusty? How do you... Uh, uh, uh. Graves pops in and out of the cafe like a stray cat over the next couple weeks, never staying for long. Still don't know what he's doing when he's gone. The days come and go and we settle into a routine. Everybody shows up, does their thing. I'm getting better at my job, getting better at some other stuff too. Can we make coffee yet? That's the real question. Mochi opens one eye and thumps his tail once against the side of the couch. I talk to him. It's not like I'm talking to a sentient pillow anymore. He actually acknowledges what I say and responds, which is bizarre. Actually, that's a lie. Nyx kind of does that. Um, She responds when I call her ma'am at this point, which is funny, truth be told. I set two cola cans next to each other, then take a step back. You watching? Better be watching. Okay, here we go. I concentrate. And the cola cans flutter apart into log ribbons like potato peels. They collapse on each other and form a jumbled mess of aluminium. Aluminum. I don't know why I called it aluminium. It's aluminum. My brain just decided aluminium was the way. There's some soft crunching while the ball of soda can while the ball of soda can wobbles around a bit. What? Shapes begin to emerge from the ball. What? Guys! Guys! I can do magic! I can do really cute magic! Ta-da! Soda can sculpture of a cat. I am sorry. What? What? Don't you think it looks like you? You're the worst audience. I'm gonna show these this to the guys at the cafe. They'll think it. They'll appreciate it. I think I feel comfortable enough with my magic, I might as well call it, to bring it up to everybody. I can demonstrate it now, after all, so it's not like they have reason to not believe me. The real problem now is figuring out how the heck to bring it up. I'm gonna mull that one over a bit, but I suppose a day or two of planning won't hurt. 
I should get start getting ready for work. I've had a couple days off, but I've still been going in to hang out with everybody almost every day. That's really lovely. Like, I don't know. I've never had that. <laughs> I have some of my coworkers that I would currently like spend time with outside of work without, without like issue or complaint. Like I would just happily spend time with them. Um, but would I go to the office on my day off? No. Unless I was stealing office supplies. <laughs> Back to that. Some more than others. Okay, one especially more than the others. Wait, who do I like? Who do I like more than others? I'm so confused. I haven't figured this out yet. I like three of them more than others. Well, I, I'm in trouble. Okay, first things first. We'll worry about the cat situation, then I'll worry about the cute coworker situation. Grab my keys, smoosh my face into mochi, mochis to say goodbye. He hates it. And then I head out of my way. That's like Nyx. Except for she doesn't necessarily hate it, but. I haven't seen any trace of that creepy guy since I saw him a while back. So I've started trying that other route to him from work when I need a change of scenery. It's not a great change, to be honest, that there's still a lot of rusty junk lining the road. And it feels like I see more every time I come down this way. It's so deliberately placed that there's no way it isn't on purpose. There's a stack of old car parts that almost looks like a tower if you look at it the right way. It's almost artful. Yeah, Nyx pretends to hate it. But uh, her and I have weird routines. So what we've started doing, she's spoiled. We've been through this. But my so my little, my, my black cat, Nyx, she... If I'm leaving the house and she can see that I'm getting ready to leave the house, she jumps onto this cat tower that I have nearby my main door. Because I typically give her treats on my way out. And so, and then normally she'll wait there when I, like, she'll be, she'll, if she hears me come in, she'll jump back up on there so she can greet me when I come back. And typically, because then she's, like, basically near, like, my level. Um, so, which is just really nice of her, actually, because then I can give her scritches. But I think she's also realized that she's more likely to get scritches if she's more on my level she's a strange child and she's very spoiled grapes he's right there very much human standing over the rusty decrepit bike he's so lost in thought i wonder if he even notices i'm here graves what's up oh oh avery just assessing the litter around the cafe yeah it looks like someone's been using this walkway as a trash dump so they have. Do you think it's one of the shop owners around here? I know the culprit. The true matter is, the true matter is to properly deal with this disposal. It's not our job. You know who it is? Make them do it. Regretfully, I do not believe we can stop him. Interesting. What a jerk. Who is it? Nobody you know. Don't worry about it. I guess if he's not going to stop, we should just start cleaning it up. I'll help you carry some of it. I roll up my hoodie sleeves and reach out to grab the rusty bike hand... Grave's hand. We're holding hands now. His fingers coiled tightly around my wrist so quickly I didn't see him move. Don't touch it. His eyes hold an intense, stern glow as his stare bores into me. For just a moment, I feel that chill claw up again my spine again. Okie dokie, sorry. Forgive me. It's too dangerous to do this without correct procedure. You haven't learned enough yet. So, I think Graves knows that I'm learning magic at this point, and clearly has approved of it. But why? Like, so I, I, it's not even so much that he knows I've taken the book. It's that he's let me keep it, he's let me practice with it, and I'm assuming he has a good concept of what I can do as it stands. Which is just wild to me. Please don't worry about it. I can't help wondering if this is related to some other weird things I've seen around here, you know? I'd rather you focus on the cafe and leave this to me. Please don't worry about it. You're so opaque, I seriously don't get you at all. I've been hearing that since before I could speak. I'm used to it by now. I wish you'd just tell me straight up what's going on. Consider it a management problem. How is the job treating you? You do enjoy it here, yes? Aye, well, maybe if I had a boss that told the truth, it'd be easier. 
No need to be contentious. I'm doing the best I can. I wonder if he's like not allowed to tell me. Kind of like like he like there's a spell on him as well, and he is prohibited from being able to discuss his condition um, or discuss anything pertaining to the curse, to magic, to any of this. And so he's had to like do things in a smart way to be able to, I don't know, to be able to like move anything forward. I'm truly, I'm sorry for the mess here. Like, I don't think he's bad. I'm not the one you should be apologizing to. Talk to the rest of your staff about that. Best case scenario, this will be dealt with soon. We can all forget about it. What? And if the best case doesn't happen, then we'll have a new bridge to cross. Well, you best head in. Wouldn't bother be late after all. You gonna write me up if I am? I don't think I need to after Finley got through with you for making her open by herself. Shoot, you're right. Out oh, later. Well, until then. This is like I don't think he, I don't think he's bad. I think he's just stuck in a tough spot. Does that make sense? I don't even know. But uh, Avery, there you are. I was starting to get worried. Sorry. Got sidetracked on the way here. I ran into Graves. I guess talking to the boss counts as work. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Graves couldn't keep hold of a topic if it was stapled to his hand. Slow morning. The first person to come through the door isn't even a customer. It's Graves. Fancy meeting you here. You want some coffee? The usual? Hmm? Uh, not right now, thank you. Maybe no mind. I'll be in and out today. Maintenance work. Finally. The sink in the kitchen has been backing up something fierce lately. Not that kind of maintenance, my friend. Security improvements. What do you mean security improvements? He blows through the building and disappears to the back door as quickly as he arrived. Reese watches him go and takes a few wavering steps towards the door before deciding against it. I guess even Reese can't outboss the boss. Security improvements. What the heck is that supposed to mean? That was weird. Well, back to work, huh? Yeah. It's hard to focus on work as I can see Graves pacing back and forth in front of the big glass store front. So we're gonna spy on him. He apparently buried something underneath a loose tile. Dip my head out to see what he's doing. He's just standing there, staring at a wall, tracing a picture on it with his finger. I'm sure he's doing it just to look busy, but then I catch a glimpse of something, like light reflecting off a piece of metal on the wall itself. No, I don't care if we think we're seeing things. We're gonna go inspect this stuff. Maybe he's doing something to the building, something arcane, I guess. But even if he is, why? Why is he suddenly so concerned? Yeah, no, I feel like there's something, like the guy, Stranger Danger, must be a problem. I also wonder if those, the rusty, the rusty, like, things that he's getting rid of, I don't even know. Words, who needs words? Words are overrated. Um, I wonder if, like, the rusty junk that's in the back, if they're, like, material components for a spell of some sort that might be used against us. Because that's also why he didn't want us touching it. You know? I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. Can't help but think of his weird behavior this morning and the focus on the rust piles. Something must be coming. Something as serious as a cat curse. He's just gonna leave us in the dark. I've gotta do something. It's time I finally talked to somebody about magic, the book, the curse, everything. Oh, I guess Finley. I guess I've like interacted with her enough that that's my like person now. Weird, interesting. Hey, Finley. What's up, baby? After work, can I talk to you about something? It's really important, it'll only take a minute. Oh, sh uh, sure. Why does she seem surprised by that? Her cheeks look pink. I guess I'm surprised. Nope. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. It's something I've been thinking about for a while and why don't you just tell me now, sweetie? She places her hand on my shoulder and gives it a squeeze. Uh, what was I going to say? Um, oh, yeah. It's about the curse. It'll take a while to explain, but I think I figured some of it out. Oh, wow. Okay, sure. The curse, of course. The curse, of course. And not secret feelings for each other. No, never that. Why would it be that? Yeah, is that okay? 
Yeah, yeah. I'll clean up and then we can be in the basement. Thanks a lot. I'm dying to jump in more about this right now, but it's better to wait. I don't want to be interrupted. It's important to me that she hears it first. With all the jelly donut stuff, I think she deserves to know what's going on. Plus the fact that we like her. I hope she doesn't get upset. I've never seen her lose her temper, but I don't think I could bear to have Finley mad at me. But she did see- Yeah, she did seem a bit disappointed right now. No, it's not our imagination. Ugh. We're bad at this. We're just bad at this. I noticed Finley sneaking peeks will help me the whole time, judging by the looks from everybody else they noticed too. Creepy basement seems like the best place to do this without the judgment, without the others snooping. I mean, not that I don't want them to know sooner or later, but you know. I still really don't like this place. It's chilly on top of everything else. Avery, you down here? Oh, yeah. yeah. Standing really, really close. I'm staring back into Finley's. I, I imagine Finley's like hella tall, too. This is a little daunting. So, um, okay. There isn't a way to say this without it sounding weird. So, I've been studying magic. And listen, you can't get put off by that when I when you accepted the curse as a basic thing. But I found a magic book down here, and I started reading it, and I've been learning a lot. But I can show you. I can do... Oh, Finley, can you grab me a soda can and empty one? Oh, yeah, sure. Catch! Clunk. Well, that's fun. You were supposed to catch it! To give me more of a reaction time. <laughs> I don't think it would have made a difference. Sorry that took a while. I couldn't find an empty can, so I just took one and chugged it. Oh my god, sweetie. Sweetie. Oh, thanks. I can do it with one, though. Alright, here we go. Okay, I focus my attention on the can. This is just like a prex. Never had a non-cat. Uh, she's technically a cat! Can wobbles. Pitches to the side and unpeels like an orange skin. Holy crap! Ah! Can't keep my focus. The can peel flops to the ground and scrapes the cement. You were doing that? Yeah, but I messed up. Gotta try again. Okay. I'll be quiet this time. Spikes, petals, twirls come out of the aluminum. I lean down and pick up the soda can and rosette I've made. Ta-da! You're a wizard, Avery. Yeah, that's a terrible line. I was gonna say that earlier, but I decided not to. Hand to Finley. She considers it appreciatively, then clips the flower to her shirt. <laughs> Think the correct term is witch. At least according to the book it is. Sounds like witches are everywhere if you look hard enough. It was definitely one who cursed you guys. If witches are real, Graves is doing a real bad job throwing people off his trail. She gestures at the standing, standy looming behind her. Witch on a broomstick? Really, Graves? Does he think he's hiding in plain sight? Do you really think he's the one who put the curse on us? I did at first, but now I don't know. He could be a bystander. I think he's a bystander. I think he's like, I think he's stuck by his own curse. And that's the problem. Either way, he isn't going to help us, so we have to do it ourselves. So are you going to teach me how to do that? I'll do my best. We shouldn't do it here. Graves might catch us, and I don't want to risk it if he's actually the one behind this. Ooh, your place or mine? I have the book at my place. I want to come over. I was going to say, I want to go to your place. Anyways. Wow, you're so bored. Oh my god! Wait, what? No, that's not what I meant. Wait, no, it is what we meant. Stop it, Avery. We're screwing this up for ourselves. I'm, I'm just teasing. Can we order dinner? Yeah, I know this great place. Pizza Lloyd's. Have you tried it? You and pizza. You're such a stereotypical nerd. I'm... I am a nerd. There is, like, we can't actually deny that. Mm-hmm. I'm not. Mm-hmm. Come on, let's go. She takes my hand and leads me upstairs. We hold hands until we reach the proper perimeter. Property perimeter. All right, don't look. Stay forward, keeping my eyes facing the whole time. A moment later, Calico Cat sits next to me. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, she's such a cute kitten. I love. It'll be a lot faster if you carry me, you know. My legs are kind of stumpy. I just want to cuddle her. I haven't actually, you know, held any of the coworker cats. Felt like a big invasion of privacy. Like, that's the kind of thing you only do after you get to know someone, right? But hey, she asked. Scoop her up in my arms. Mm. I feel like royalty now. Onward, my foot soldier! I love her so much. Yes, your highness. So good. 
so good. Once you arrive, I set Fenley in my favorite spot on the couch. Welcome to my humble abode. I am the worst and do not clean. Hi, Jen. How's it going? How are you doing? I hope you're not buried in snow. Because I feel like snow hit a lot of places this week. Not me. But I've been concerned for everybody who's either Northern Ontario or Midwest North America. I think that's the right term. I'm not actually great with geography. Jokes on quite literally everybody. Um, it's fine. This is... Well, okay. I'll be real. A mess? It isn't any messier than my place. Oh, that's impressive. Oh, thank goodness. No snow, just cold. Ooh, oh, oh, I'm so sorry, friend. That is... That's chilly. That's so cold. That's, that's no bueno. That's not fun. Oh, God. I feel for you. I don't think... We haven't been that bad. We're, war we're warm. Ow. Why does my finger feel weird? Sorry. My finger's been really... My joints have been very strange lately. Um, I don't know what that is. I'm going to blame getting older. Um, but no, it's been... I think we've... It's been mostly like plus one, plus two in the mornings. And then like it's... The high. It's right now 13 degrees apparently. So... Ugh, a negative 15. No bueno. I'm so sorry. I was, oh, thank goodness. I was worried about you judging me. You could use more exciting decor. I know. Flowers feel, well, not you at all. It's my aunt's. I'm house sitting for her while she's abroad. That's sweet of her to let you crash. Hope she won't mind a cat. Nah, I came here with one. You should meet him. Okay, well, at least it's in the positives for you. Five degrees isn't, it's not the worst. It's not great, though. Fingers crossed it gets better for you soon. Mochi, we have a visitor. Mochi keeps low and slow. Ears back and tail waving. Oh, he doesn't like this at all, does he? This is like Nyx. I, I do not think she would be okay with another cat. Hey, buddy. Mer. Mochi sniffs her nose and jumps in what I assume is a cat version of surprise. He backs off, tail thumping wildly, and stares through tiny pupils. Mer. I think he can tell you're not a real cat. Yeah, real cats can tell. They get used to it pretty quickly. I'll slip between them. If you want to take photos of me and Mochi, I'll put it on the blog tomorrow. Wait, what? Really? Yeah, we'll make him famous. You ready to be a superstar, Mochi? Ready to have your name up in memes? <laughs> you're never really ready to be a meme, trust me. Come on, Mochi. You can get internet famous and I'll sell shirts with your face on them. Scoot off the couch and pull up my phone out of my pocket. Finley leans closer to Mochi, who regards her with suspicion. Mer. I'm not gonna lie, I like this game because I just like speaking for the cats. Stay still and look at the camera, sweetheart. For me? Surprisingly, he does, though he isn't happy about it. Snap a couple shots of jelly donut leaning on grumpy old Mochi. The internet will be all about these. Great! Send them to me. I'll give you my number. I am fairly convinced that my character is an idiot. Not only have we inv invited Finley back to our place, we are now getting her phone number. That feels like the opposite order in which we normally do things. But. She recites her number, I save it to my phone and send the photos. You don't have it with you, right? I don't know where you'd keep it. It's at the cafe today, but sometimes I do. It just kind of disappears, like all my other stuff. I don't get messages till I turn it back on. It's magically back in my pocket with all my notifications. Oh my god, yeah, I am, like, super oblivious, apparently. Man, magic is weird. Speaking of, I think you've got some teaching to do. Oh yeah, let me order food and we can get started. Cats can eat pizza, right? I'm not a cat. I just play one on the internet. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, okay, one sec. I order the pizza while we wait for it. Finley picks through my game collection. Ooh, I love this one. Played it in high school. She nudges a jewel case off the TV stand. Clatters to the floor, plays down. Oops, for God, I don't have opposable thumbs. Yeah, that's one of my favorites. It came out freshman year. I've replayed it like once every year since. You should bring the system to the cafe sometime. We could have a tournament. <gasps> Speaking of cats, hi. Guess who's here? Standing on the very edge. Hi, B. Guess which little boy cat decided to come here? Hello. Hi. Next. She's like, Mom, you know I don't like to be on camera. 
B, come here. Come here. Mm -hmm. You can tell how much she loves this. There we go. Oh, we getting scratchies? We getting some scratchies? This is Nyx. My little beloved Void, the princess. The one who's absolutely spoiled. What you doing? She's like, Mom, I want wet food. Ma'am, you're moving the game forward. Are you just going to sit at the edge of my desk until I finish streaming and then... If, I, if it, everybody hasn't noticed, there seems to be like a pattern where she shows up. Mostly so she can beg for wet food. But her dry food will be done in 15. So. Is there even a TV there? Graves has one. You can set it up there. That sounds like fun. Does anybody else at the cafe even play games? They're just foot soldiers. Mere fodder before we clash in battle. <laughs> Ruthless. Love her. You're gonna love this. I set a plate. One of the nice floral ones for Finlink. And I grab mine directly from the box. Bon appetit. Oh, do you have any hot sauce? Damn, girl. It's a whole bunch of probably expired stuff. But Tabasco is still good at least. Here we go. Great. Can you um put some on the pizza for me? Opposable thumbs, you know. You got it. You tell me when to stop. Shake the bottle over once, twice. Pause. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. I get the feeling she likes it real spicy. So. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake that hot sauce. That's good. Thanks. Watching a cat try to eat a pizza is, well, it's not pretty. That'd be so funny. Oh my god, don't look. This is so embarrassing. Sorry, sorry. Take my slice to the kitchen. Oh, she's eating here. That's way worse. Fin at least Finley understands my concept of manners. The concept of manners. Then Mochi, Mochi smashes her his face into the kibbles, just plain grotesque. Nyx is really delicate with it. She's pretty silly. I walk back to the living room, pick up the grimoire before I flop onto the couch. Okay, so I'll go over the basics while we eat. Then we can try some stuff out. I know, right? Like, could you not at least cut it up into, like, more manageable pieces? Because then she could, like, bat it. That'd be smart. So, if the find what moves you to magic, if you want to get started. What was yours? Mm, it's kind of hard to explain. I'm not really sure I understand it, but I can sort of feel it in my gut, you know? I had all this stuff lying around, so I started to play with it, and, well, here we are. So, you based your magic on trash. Well, when you put it like that... No, I think it's cute. Wait, what if I'm responsible for all the rusty trash in the car? That what place? I wonder. No, I think it's cute. I think it's really resourceful. You want me to show you how to do it? N no, that's okay, thanks. I'll think of my own. We sit for a while and read the book together. I show her how the cipher works, but it's still up to me to move it along the page. Posable thumbs. Oh yeah, the bookmark that we got from the cat that we are fairly certain is Graves acts as the the way that we can actually read this just wild still to me there's basic stuff we can go over together like protection spells hexes you know which stuff okay okay let me try this one sounds basic can you do it in cat form then he places her paw on my arm her little new scrunchies up in concentration i love it seconds later i feel a fizzy sensation in my sinuses oh soda bubbles oh ah <laughs> That's the worst. Who would even come up with that? Someone who's real bad at coming up with Avenger plots. Trade stupid tricks back and forth, giggles growing with each one until they're both doubled over laughing. Mochi's huddled in his bed, paws over his ears, his eyes squished shut. I see you trying to ignore us. He testily thumps his tail as Finley and I read the joke, read and joke late into the night. Line up, buddy. I'm sorry, is she staying over? There's a paw on my shoulder gently batting at me. I feel little toe beans touch my face. I grumble, but the noise does nothing to deter the offender. No, Mochi, no. I roll over to face the back of the couch to shut out the insistent pawing. I feel like it's not going to work. Yeah, we fell asleep on the couch. That means Ivory, it's me. Oh, crap. Did I leave you stranded? I was sleeping right there, kiddo. You were out like a light. Oh, oh. Did we cuddle? I wrestled Mochi for the arm of the sofa. That's a comfy spot. Oh. Anyway, can I use your computers? I want to check my comments. Yeah, sure. How are you going to use it? Can you type like that? 
Watch me. Okay. Got one of those new ones where the keys aren't raised up. That makes it so much harder to type. Can you imagine? Sorry, I'm... I've had her, like, lean on my laptop and sort of tap before like that, but not this. Do you do this often? Yeah, I prefer to do it from work for obvious reasons, but I check my comments from home sometimes, too. Graves gave me one of those old chunky keyboards. Makes it easier to type, you know? Does Graves, like, go to your house? Oh, yeah, she can't transform unless... She can't become human again unless she's at the, um, the cafe. For God. Sometimes. He does for all of us. I gave him the key a while back so he can keep the place from falling apart. He stops by from time to time. So is that what he's doing during the day? Probably. He doesn't swing by when I'm home, at least. Maybe I should ask him to give you the key. I'd rather you have, have you stop by. Of course, it'd be more fun to have you over when we're both people. I'm sorry, what? I must be right, right, right now. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, um. The cat just made an innuendo at me. She's not technically a cat, though. You're so cute, you big nerd. <laughs> She goes back to checking her mail. I leave to get changed. When she when I come back, she's still stop. She's sitting stock still, intently studying on something on the screen. The fur between her shoulders is raised. Is everything okay? Huh? Yeah. Fine. It's fine. You seem upset. Something happen? Just a troll. Nothing to worry about. You get trolls? Anyone who's even mildly famous on the internet has to deal with idiots and creepers. You post cat videos. What's there to troll about? You don't know the half of it, you sweet child. But here, let me share some. A lot of these are too mean to read, but let's see. There's a heated debate about politics. Here's one about how ugly calicos are, but insists certain women are uglier. All from a video where Jelly Donut balances three donuts. Oh, here's one of my nail art tutorials. LOL, I hate that females try to try to man certain try to man certain faces. What? That try to look sexy but doesn't work at all. Don't even know what that's supposed to mean. Okay, good. I'm glad that wasn't supposed to make sense. I thought I was just screwing it up. <laughs> Yikes. D I don't let it get me down. Most of them aren't all at all. Like most of them aren't like that at all. They're usual. What? Nothing. That doesn't look like nothing. It's fine. Scrabbles furiously the touch pad, but not fast enough to keep me from seeing. In the moment she hit before she hits delete, I see. I'm coming to see you. I am sorry. What? That is also creepy. This game is just creepy. What's that? Who's that? I don't know. It's an internet rando. It's, w it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's okay, Avery. Nobody ever does anything. They're just full of hot air. Sexist, racist, homophobic, transphobic, hot air. I do not feel comforted by that. Let's talk about something else, okay? We're gonna be late for work if we just sit here and debate trolls. Okay. What a scandal. We walk in together, me in your arms. Is it me? Am I the drama? I don't think I'm the drama. Am I the villain? I don't think I'm the villain. Anyways, putting you down before you cross the threshold. Can't carry me as a human? Got those scrawny little noodle arms. They are not noodle arms. Bitch, if you are in Bristol Mason, should you rip your hand, your hand clean off? Probably. Okay, but is there anybody at the cafe she couldn't be? Landry, maybe. Nah, I don't think he'd win. Let's get them to face off. We'll take bets. <laughs> I like it. After some scrambling, we head to the cafe together. It's a nice crisp morning. We don't talk much on the way. In case bystanders over here, but it's a comfortable silence. Jelly Donut isn't making an appearance today, so it should be an uneventful shift. What is with the stranger danger in this place? Who are you? He's giving me out. Yeah, no shit. See the one I ran into the other night? The one that stared daggers through me? No, he's too short. Who are these people? Still got that creamy comment on the mind. Must be coloring my perception. It's probably nothing. Hey, let's go around back. Good idea. Sneak around the corner, but not without being chased by a cold stare. I set Finley down once he's out of sight, and she steps over the threshold. I get a bad vibe from that guy. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's just some people exude creep from their pores. He's dripping it all over the place. That's gross, but accurate. Hey, it's Mason. Sneak in through the kitchen. Mason waves us with, with an expression I've never seen before. Well, at least on her. Awful late, Finley. Yeah, sorry. 
You stayed with Avery. <laughs> How'd you know? Not hard to tell. <laughs> Don't tell anybody, okay? Why would I? That's my girl! Finley slaps Mason on the back and heads onto the floor. I nod to Mason awkwardly before I trapes out after Finley. Mason nods back, and I swear she's holding back a grin or something. I love Mason. Hey, yeah? You sure about going out there with that guy? What guy? The one hanging around outside. What if he's that internet weirdo? Let me take your shift. You can take it easy. Nice of you to offer, but I'll be fine. If I let some commenter get me down, I may as well give up. It's always going to be creepers. Anyway, how do we even know who he is? Maybe you're jumping to conclusions. I'd rather you be safe, honestly. Look. Things get weird, I'll go upstairs, okay? I guess. Don't worry so much. She presses her fingers on my nose. Boop! Come on, let's finish prep. Can't help but sneak anxious looks out the window. Is he still there? I don't see him anymore, so maybe it was a coincidence. I don't trust this. We open a few people pile in, and he's not among them. Finley doesn't seem to notice, so I should calm down. We're at the same freaking point. It's good to see Ramona and Ginger getting along. Oh, good. After about an hour or so, just enough time for us to get into the routine, I see him. The creeper, creeping about, creepy as possible, slinks in behind another customer. Sits at a table near the window, hood drawn up, setting the menu like there's going to be a quiz. Hey, Finley. I bump into her on the way back from the kitchen. Guy's there. I'll take care of his tables to take a break, okay? You're such a peach, Avery, thanks. She pauses like she's considering something but shrugs off and escapes upstairs. Better go see what he wants. Have you decided on your order? No. I'll give you a little more time then. Yeah. I don't trust the stranger danger. I don't understand why he's here. What do you want from us? I check on him a few more times. Each time he mumbles something about time. Why don't you just call me when you're ready? I'm waiting for someone. Oh, sorry, are they coming here? Sooner or later. Okay. Maybe he's just nervous. Maybe he's meeting somebody for... Okay, this is real weird, though. This is real weird behavior if he's uh, meeting somebody for a date. I would... I would be worried. Guess I'll go tell Finley. Unless he's waiting for Finley. Technically, I'm not leaving the floor unsupervised since Reese is down there on cat detail. But down there, regardless, he can keep an eye on things. Oh, there's Finley sitting at her laptop with a cup of coffee, chatting with Hayes as he leans, uh, le cleans the pastry counter. Hey, kiddo. I think the coast is clear if you want to come back. Sure, thanks for keeping an eye out. You're my in shining armor. She heads downstairs, laptop, coffee and laptop momentarily abandoned. Finley told me that you're looking out for her. It's really nice of you. That's what I do. I'm a real toughie. I'll save you from weirdos if you ever need it. Do you... Do you think I'd get weirdos? Yes, you are a cinnamon roll and you must be protected. Oh no, it was just a hypothetical. I'm sure you're fine. Okay. No, I mean it. You're too nice for that. And Finley isn't? No, that's... You know what I mean. Sorry, sorry. No, don't apologize. I... Crap. Crap. We, why did we let her go back down there? You think you're hot stuff, huh? Think you can manipulate men? Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. What? Did I stutter? I'm telling you to get your ugly face off Neko Neko. We know where you work, and if you keep using some cat to get famous, there's going to be problems. I thunder down the stairs. A few cats hear the noise diving into their space. Everybody's staring. Finley's trapped between this guy and a wall. Is he reading off a cue card? What's going on? Is there a problem? Avery, I... This isn't your problem. I believe it is. Avery, it's okay. I don't have to, but I'm gonna. Look, dude, if you don't leave, you're gonna have problems. Oh, so now you're threatening me. You wanna fight right here in the middle of this cafe. This is this is what guys like me have to deal with? I show up to express my concern and she sticks her white knight on me. This is what women are really like? Oh god. I don't want I don't wanna hear from you. You started this. I started what? You're the one manipulating guys to get what you want, and I'm gonna stop it. His voice raises with every retort. The longer we talk back, the more he digs in his heels. The feeling this will only get worse. You're going to have to leave. Because I have an opinion? You can't censor me like that. I make an intimidate him. I stare at him dead in the eyes and roll up my sleeves. What? I hit a nerve? The second you hear stuff you don't like, you get violent? Typical. 
keep threatening me, maybe I'll hit more than nerves. Finley's clenching her, her fist hard enough that her fingers are turning pale. She's gonna deck this guy. Leave Avery out of this, get out of here. Never heard her so angry. Oh no! Wait until I write about how you threatened me. I'll make sure everyone sees it. A hand settles on his shoulder. And his fingers splay out slowly and deliberately dig in. I was like, who's it gonna bite? Mason, I love you, babe. Get out. Who the hell are you? Security, get out. Or I make you. This gives him something, she gives him something I've never seen Mason give anyone. A smile. A twisted, crooked, malicious smile. Do it. Tell them about the hell beast at Cat's Paw. Love to hear what they say. They can come see me too and tell me to, tell me to my face. Got a special greeting for all of you. You're, you're all horrible. Get out. I'm going, I'm going. Get your hand off me. Mason nudges him and rushes out the door as if chased. You two, kitchen. Finley is silent, biting her lip, eyes smoldering. I nod and march to the back. Hayes, Reese, cover the floor. R right? Mason stands between us like a referee. Finley refuses to look up from her phone. Her thumbs furiously fly across the screen as she types. So that was really him. Who knows? Could have been that guy. Could have been one of the other creeps who harassed me. Hell, maybe they'll all come out now. Is being internet famous really worth getting treated like this? Maybe you shouldn't be making videos anymore. Why shouldn't I? They don't have the right to judge me for what I do, so why should I stop? I'm actually not helping in the slightest. We're making this worse. I can handle myself, thank you very much. And what would you do if you were alone and that guy came up? You could you could have gotten hurt. I'm a grown ass woman, Avery. I can handle myself and I don't need anyone telling me what I should do. This is ridiculous, you're being stubborn. You're being condescending. Yes, Avery is being condescending. I am not a fan of this. Cut it out. Cool down. Finley, take a break upstairs. Yeah, fine. Avery, sit. Okay. Yes, mommy. Finley storms upstairs to Graves' apartment. I can hear the door slam from here. I sit on a stool in the kitchen and fiddle with my hands. Is Mason gonna lecture me? Don't need that. Mason doesn't say anything. She just goes back to work. It's almost worse than if she'd laid into me. Is this a silent treatment? I should get back. No, sit. Am I in timeout? Hmm. She shoves a mug into my hand. It's tea. Just drink it. She scoops another mug off the table and disappears upstairs. I draw in slow breaths of the tea's flowery scent, but it doesn't settle the anxiety lurching in my gut. Okay, Avery, breathe and drink your tea. Calm down. But the look on Finley's face, the look on that creepy jerk's face, they keep popping up. A lot happened in so little time. How many times did I screw up during that flurry of panic? A lot. We screwed up a ton. Mason returns empty-handed. She goes back to work. The rhythmic sound of knife hitting the cutting board is soothing. Neither of us talk. When I start again, it's more to myself than anything. I did the best I could. I just wanted to protect her. Is that your job? Well, no. Big difference between protecting and adding, acting like a parent. I don't get it. Well, it's a start. I don't get that either. Look, just cool off and go talk to her. Okay. Take this to table seven. She dumps a tray in my hands. Okay, and so now I can go back to work? Break's over. I was in timeout. They put me in timeout. There is no other rationale for this. Things have quieted down. Most of the customers who are here for the incident have left, but I still feel stairs crawling at my back. Hayes and I cover the floor until Landry gets in. Hayes frequently, timidly, glances towards me, the door, sometimes both. He pulls Landry aside and whispers something, telling him about the confrontation, no doubt. After that, I notice Landry keeping sharp vigilance towards the door, too. And then his vigilance starts to creep onto me. Something on your mind? Hey, Avery, have you seen Finley since this went down? I hope she's okay. No, I haven't. I know Mason went to check on her, but that's good. How are you? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Probably should have just punched the guy. I'm glad you didn't. He comes back. You leave him to me or Mason. Your job right now is talking to Finley. Do you want me to go see if she wants to? No, I'll just go up. Thanks, though. Of course. Remember, none of us will let anything happen to you or Finley. We're all family. Mm. Thanks. Head upstairs. Hey, uh, Finley? 
I approach and oh, there she is, huddled in a little ball, fast asleep. The sun is setting, the rays fall like direct. Is she a cat at this point or is she a human? I'm gonna go with human. I reach out without thinking to brush her hair away from her face. I hope she hasn't been too upset. Before I can make kind contact, one eye stares back at me. Hey, hey, hey. You fell asleep? Yeah, I had to rage nap it out. I'm really sorry I talked to you like that. I didn't mean for it to come out that way. I just really worried. No, I know you're trying to look out for me. I'm just, just being sick of, to I'm just sick of being told what to do about what I like. I understand. I would too. I didn't mean to do that. I just, really what happens if that guy comes back or another one? Maybe you're right. Maybe I should get out of the public eye if this is what I get for it. I mean, if you think that'd be safer. But maybe I'm too stubborn. When I was a kid, I wasn't really good at anything. My grades weren't great. I sucked at sports. I didn't have a lot of friends. I tried for theater, but always got the ensemble parts, not even a speaking role. I know it sounds silly, but this jelly donut thing was an opportunity. I threw it out there, it got really popular, and it made me feel great. The first time, I found something that made me stand out. But I didn't think about... Not all attention is good attention, you know? Is the kind of attention I'm going... Is this the kind of attention I'm going to get? No, I don't think so. Till now, everyone's been really happy to see Jelly Donut. And they're happy to see Finley. The other day, a customer asked about your makeup videos. And even if it was, I know you're more than that. If I gave up, would they move on? If not me, then would it be somebody else? I don't like dealing with this, but I don't want to give them, give them what they want either. I'd rather keep doing what I want to do. If that's what you want, you won't be alone. You've got Mason and Landry and me. You're right, I do. I'll be your bodyguard and chase off anybody who tries to give you trouble. Oh, really? <laughs> I'd get someone more intimidating for that. Yeah, like Mason. Mason's a great choice. I had something different in mind for you. I'm sorry, what? What do you mean? Yeah. Guys, we got smoochies! I was not expecting a smoochie, but we got smoochie. We are finally in smooch town. Population us. Anyways, I'm good. <laughs> smoochies, smoochies, smoochies. Oh. This is so good. She places her hand under my chin and tilts my head forward. I managed to get my senses together just enough time to close my eyes before her lips touch. It's quick, but even after she pulls away, I can still feel the sensation. Mm, smoochies. I lean forward and give her another smoochie. It's all about the smoochies. Anyways, we're good. D does that help? Am I helping? <clears throat> we're so dense. Oh my god. Yeah, it did. But I also have a favor to ask. I have an idea. Can I come over again tonight? Oh my god. Sure. Although, won't you be a cat? I need to study magic, dummy. I want to practice with the grimoire. Yeah, of course. This time, I'll get a Hawaiian pizza. Can we please, please get something else? Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, my God. Landry's really apologetic that he can't escort us. Mason's pretty worked up about it, too. She even stays late to see us off. Aww. I carry Finley Jelly Donut at home. We move a little faster in case that guy decided to stick around. It's a pity Graves isn't around. He could have walked with us. Yeah, I haven't seen him in a while. I hope he's okay. I'm sure he's fine. You think he's lost or something? I don't know. While I was up in his apartment, it looked messier than usual. There's dust on the shelves. He never leaves dust. You think maybe he ran off? If he did, he would have taken Dracula, but she's still there and she seems lonely. I mean, she's being fed, but he usually spends more time at home, that's all. Yeah, I guess so. Finley nestles inside my zip hoodie, both for privacy and for warmth. I look like I'm smuggling a pillow, but whatever. It's gonna sound really corny, but I can feel your heartbeat right now. It's kind of nice. Baby! Don't get, no. My God, I'm not, you weirdo. It's comforting. You ever tie from that one place? Turns out watching cat eat pad thai, pad ki meow, pad ki mao. There we go. Isn't any more graceful than watching one eat pizza. Isn't that too spicy? Not for me, it isn't. I never make it spicy enough. Can I try? You like that kind of thing? I don't know, curious. Okay, I'm gonna die, aren't I? It's 
pretty good. It's... Holy crap! My mouth is on fire. It's gotta be something in the kitchen. Milk, soda, anything. Oh my god, is it too much for you? You baby. I feel like I tried to put a campfire in my mouth. So I actually have this coming up for work. We're doing a hot wigs challenge at work sometime soon. And I've decided that's a perfectly great thing for me to do. It's a stupid thing for me to do. Let's be real here. How, do your, how are your taste buds not dead? They're of course not. I built a tolerance of the fine nuances of flavor. Yeah, this is gonna be me next week. Dying. I'm so grateful for my boring, mild pad thai. Okay, let's get cracking. You have that book ready? Right here. Can I? Oh, I know pretty much how it's gonna go. I'm gonna make sure I have all the milk. She won't look me in the eye. Her tail titches wildly. Oh no, is something wrong? You okay? <laughs> yeah, um, can I sit on your lap while we read? Okay, yeah, sure. Easier for me to read that. Oh, yeah, that is, I'm sure that's what it is. Sheepishly, Finley crawls into my lap. I can feel her leaning back against my stomach. It's... It's cute. Mochi looks on in disdain. Mochi jealous. Hey, buddy, you never try to sit in my lap. You can't get jealous now. Okay, you still have that page bookmarked where you left off, right? Sure do. So we studied together. Feels like no time has passed. So why are my eyelids drooping? Then I look at the clock. Holy crap, it's 3 a.m. We gotta work tomorrow. It's cool if you wanna sleep. I'll be up for just a bit longer. I have an idea. Oh yeah? It's hard to articulate, but I, it's a gut feeling. And I don't wanna tell you in case it doesn't work. Oh, the same thing happened to me. Ooh, been staying up all night reading arcane tomes and weaving your dark magics? Oh yeah, all part of the package. We'll move on to human sacrifices next. I love. The honest two powerful stop. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm crashing hard. I'll sleep in my room so you can stay up. Sounds good. Night, sweetie. Oh, uh, yeah, you too, night, cutie. Don't stay up too late. Okay. We're so awkward. That woke me up. She actually called me sweetie before, but now it feels a little more personal, you know? Mm. Oh, my goodness. All right. I think... That is as good a place to stop as any. Mostly because I don't mind cliffhangers. So, I am gonna leave it there. I know this has been a little bit more casual, a little bit more chill, a little less chaotic and less screaming like I normally do during my other games. It's been, but we got a smoochy guy, so that was real exciting. Um, but I kinda hold off for next time. We'll see, see where this goes, see where this lands. And yeah, I did get a kiss. We got a smooch. We doing great. It's, it's good times. It's good times. So yeah. So we'll leave it there. We'll be back with uh, Lunar Silver Star Story. The Silver Star Harmony, rather. On Monday. Um, and yeah. We'll keep doing it. Thank you guys for being here. I know this is kind of my first full week back. So it's been great. Um, but yeah. So. And also next week you will finally actually hear about the other streams I'm doing. Because I've been really bad at not adding it to Mix It Up. Um... But Monday, we'll talk a bit more about the upcoming streams on other channels I've got going on. There's some really exciting stuff. If you've been on my Twitter, you've seen some of it get leaked through. And I'm really excited. I think it's going to be... I've got some really fun stuff with other people coming up. Um, and it's just nice to get back into it, you know? So, yeah. This is going to be good times. So I'll talk more about it. I will probably talk nonstop about it next week. Um, but in the meantime, take care of yourselves. Have a good weekend. Please drink your water. Rawr! Rawr means I love you in dinosaur. And have a wonderful night. Bye!